As you've probably heard, we're approaching what we expect to be a very active winter storm pattern, but our models still cannot agree on the tracks of these potential winter storms and who will be affected. Well, today we're going to look at all the possible outcomes. It's November 18th, 2025. Let's get into the weather updates. Most of you have probably seen what a weather model run looks like. This right here is our operational run of the European. You could call it the control run. This is the European's most high definition run where it thinks it has the best initial conditions. But did you know there's 50 other runs of the European model that all show slightly different scenarios. There are also 31 different runs of the GFS model. Here's where the latest run of the GFS expects there to be snow over the next two weeks. And here's where the Euro expects to see snow. But again, these are just the operational runs. And sometimes one of the members actually gets a lot closer. Before we take a look at all of our possible outcomes, let's take a look at our two operational runs from last night. Starting with the European, we currently have a low pressure system pushing up through the plains. This is going to try to put a little snow into Minneapolis, maybe into portions of Wisconsin here, likely going to be heavy, wet snow and not stick around too long because we do have some above average temperatures right behind this low pressure as well. We still have that cold air funneling into the Northeast, bringing a little bit of snow up into the high elevations of New England. And out West, we still have our storm system bringing a lot of rainfall into California and piling up that snow in the Sierra Nevadas. Moving forward in time towards the middle of this week, we get into Wednesday. A lot of this moisture that was in the plains begins to transfer out East and gives you a small chance for some light snow up in Northern PA potentially south central upstate New York. Wednesday, Thursday, we're looking pretty warm from coast to coast. You can see our polar jet sitting pretty far to the north, although our storm system down here to the south is getting ready to push off towards the Ohio Valley. Now, this could come with a severe threat. I will say the threat has downtrended over the last few days, but this is going to be a lot of rainfall for people out in the central and southern plains and Ohio Valley portions of the southeast as well. As we get into this weekend, we have another storm system entering the Pacific Northwest and some more rainfall for Texas, New Mexico, and Arizona. And this weekend, we're still seeing mild temperatures from coast to coast and everyone's sitting around here like when's this flip where's all the cold air where's all the snow that we've been talking about that's what we'll really start to pay attention to as we get into thanksgiving week so next monday and tuesday you'll start to see our polar jet up here begin to buckle and this is what most models see as the beginning of a pattern change notice the beginning of next week too we have another low pressure system trying to form down here through the southern plains and again potentially a decent storm system pushing into new england this is likely to mostly be rain for the low elevations although you could get a little bit of a snow mixture down there definitely snow for the mountains so as we get into the middle of next week this is the day before thanksgiving there is that polar jet buckling on the european run here's the beginning of what could be some extremely below average air for this time of year i'm talking 10 to 20 plus degrees below average that polar jet's going to push down and if it does interact with this low pressure at the right time we could end up having a pretty decent storm system moving through the midwest or up through the northeast although we're still far enough out this storm system could end up riding through the plains the positioning of this potential winter storm all depends on the timing of our polar jet collapsing and that storm system moving up into the north and east when do they interact with each other where do they interact with each other the latest euro throws this out towards the great lakes region puts a lot of precipitation up and down the eastern seaboard but keeps that snow away from the coast again we're gonna see this change a bunch i actually don't fully buy this run yet regardless of where this storm system tracks though this cold air is very likely on its way right around thanksgiving or right after thanksgiving some models are actually delaying this until december 1st and then if we were to push out a little bit farther into la la land here comes another major storm system trying to absolutely pile up snow through the plains this would be a blizzard a 968 millibar low tons of wind tons of snow again it's near the end of the run but these are the type of winter storms we expect we may see as we get towards the end of november and into december because we expect our blocking pattern to really set up some aggressive storm tracks and this breakdown of our polar vortex is going to try to amplify and oscillate our polar jet okay as promised in the beginning of the video we're gonna have some fun now we're gonna take a look at all the gfs runs all the european runs all the members and see what some of the possible outcomes could be now remember a lot of these aren't gonna happen this is the European and GFS model saying, hey, maybe we're wrong about what the temperature could be here at this time or what the wind speeds could be or where the location of this low pressure could be. And if we're off by a little bit, we want to see what that outcome could be. And the odds that the operational or control run is perfect is close to zero. So starting with the European, we have a couple here that don't really want to give snow to anyone over the next two weeks. We have this run here that really likes the plains. I've actually been seeing this pattern for quite a while now, and I think we might trend back in this direction. I do want to cover some of the more interesting ones here, like potentially this run that wants to put a foot of snow stretching from Kansas up through Iowa, up through Wisconsin. This to me looks like it would be some sort of a blizzard setup. Big snow right here, potentially for St. 
St. Louis up through Chicago and Milwaukee. I know some of you were looking at this down here. We're talking about Tulsa and Oklahoma City getting involved. This member thinks, hey, conditions are right for some of this snow to make it down into that location. This one pops out to me as well. Decent snow for the Central Plains, Ohio Valley, and potentially even the Mid-Atlantic. I do find it interesting we're seeing some consistency with this snow through the plains. A lot of the models like the Central to Northern Plains and Upper Midwest, and I like to follow these trends. You can actually see down here as well. One, two, three, four. Four of these six runs like snow through the plains and potentially up into the Upper Midwest. This gives tons of snow to the Midwest and Central Plains here. And then again, we see this signal for some snow through the plains and Upper Midwest on a lot of these runs here. Although again, we also see some snow up in the Northeast on these as well. Plains and Upper Midwest, it's continuing to show. Plains and Upper Midwest. But anyone from New England, especially along the coast, you really like this run because this puts a lot of snow, it looks like, in coastal New England. Believe it or not, we're not done yet. Again, Plains Midwest, we continue to see that signal here. Still putting snow out in New England on this run though. A continued signal for the Plains in the Midwest. Again, I just keep seeing this show up on these members. And guys, the only reason I'm ignoring the West, I'm ignoring the Rockies is we're expecting a lot of that snowfall really within the next five to seven days. Whereas the snow for the Plains, Ohio Valley, Midwest, potentially the East, this is more towards the end of the run. So it's a little bit harder to predict. Once again, big snow out here through the central US and Plains. A lot of these runs here don't really love snow up in the Northeast. This one does show a little love to New England though. And more of the same here. You can see the center of the country is really kind of the favorite from the European. Still throwing snow up into New England on a lot of these, although the latest runs here are not giving much love to the Mid-Atlantic. And there we go with these three as well. It's that central U.S. big snowstorm that a lot of these see. Southern, central, northern plains, upper Midwest, maybe western Ohio Valley. That's the favorite for the Euro as we get into the end of November, beginning of December for a, a big snowstorm. The GFS likely sees things playing out a little bit differently though, so let's take a look. One thing that immediately pops out to me is this would be a big nor'easter. This would probably probably be a big enough nor'easter to even push some snow into places like Charlotte and inner Virginia. More love for the northern plains and upper Midwest right here. Again, the plains and upper Midwest continue to see a lot of snow on these members between the Euro and the GFS. Still a chance it doesn't happen though. We've actually got New England snow on a lot of these. This would likely be another really close call for a nor'easter. You can see all that snow up in the northeast. And again, big snow through the central U.S. on a lot of these runs. This right here looks like a classic nor'easter to me as well. So again, the GFS is actually favoring more snow out to the east than the Euro is although they both really like the central U.S. for a big snowstorm. Leading into Thanksgiving, I think likely right after Thanksgiving. Here's some nice eastern, mid-Atlantic snow. This stuff is pretty far to the south as well, too. This would be a really interesting outcome. But again, more love for the central U.S. right here. These members love the chance of a nor'easter as well. I mean, you're seeing probably seven or eight members of the GFS that really think a nor'easter at the end of November is possible. So if you're in the mid-Atlantic in New England and you like snow, at least these models are saying there's a chance. Last but not least, the European AI ensembles. And I'm not going to go through every one because I don't want this video to be 30 minutes long. I'll show you some of the crazy outcomes the Euro AI sees. First of all, this one would be absolutely insane. We're talking about feet of snow potentially into Tulsa, St. Louis. I mean, this is getting far south. Snow into Texas. This would likely be a major blizzard through the central U.S. right here. And then look at this. The Euro AI model loves the thought of a huge nor'easter for the mid-Atlantic and New England. This would be probably record-breaking for this early in the year. We're talking about maybe a foot, foot and a half, two feet of snow here at the end of November if the Euro AI model is onto something. Here's another one of the members on the Euro AI, Nor'easter again. So it's liking the thought of it. It's favoring that outcome maybe even more than the GFS. And I completely forgot to show this one as well. I mean, look at that. This one wants a foot of snow almost into northern Mississippi and northern Alabama before December. Do I think this is going to happen, guys? Absolutely not. I do not think that outcome is going to happen. But sometimes weird stuff happens with our weather. And again, the Euro AI, whatever conditions it input for this run, that's the outcome it got back. I really appreciate you guys watching this video. If you like this type of content, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I make posts like this every single morning and I live stream directly after I post it. I also have a weather discord with an awesome community. The link is right down in the description if you want to join and become a member of the Climate Crew. Again, I appreciate you watching this video and I'll see you in the next one or in the live stream right after I post this.